Well, here we are back again. Um, hunting a new spot tonight. It's October 26th. And uh, I'm hunting a spot that I, I killed a, a buck out of and uh, a few years ago and saw a really nice buck out of last year. It's a great spot this time of year. Uh, I'm on a pine tree uh, ridge right here with the creek bottom down below me, but this thick as can be where they bed. I got a perfect southwest wind that's coming up out. Um, the wind isn't nearly as bad as what they're saying it was going to be. I mean, there's times when it's just it's calm. Um, I just I just got into the stand and had bucks already chasing doe, so I'm going to do this quick. Um, but uh, so I'm set up here. Uh, I got the pine trees coming up here. I got a nice logging road that's loaded, absolutely loaded with uh, scrapes and rubs. Um, first time I've been back in here. I love hunting a stand for the first time. It's had no pressure at all. It's a super long walk back in here. It's 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 a it's, it's gonna it's a really long walk, but it'll all be worth it if I can put one on the ground. So um, this spot has great potential. There's always big bucks in here, and uh, and the action's already heating up. So. Stay with us. I um, hope to get you some good footage of a uh, nice shooter buck. Meh. <laughs> Well guys, I just shot a buck and uh, um, I tried to get the camera in position. I haven't even watched the footage back yet to see if I got him, if I, he was in the viewfinder. I hope so because I tried to get the camera in position. He was so close to me right here at the pines. I was at full draw for two minutes probably. My, I was, I mean, I, it was, it was very difficult to hold the bow back. And actually. I'm actually pretty sure I can see him, um, his main beam sticking up. So, alright, I'm going to watch the footage back and just pray that I got this thing on in the viewfinder. Alright guys, so I just got down, got some clothes off here, got adjusted, got my orange on. And I'm going to walk over and we're going to take a look at my arrow. And we're going to walk over to the buck. Um, I can't say enough, I, I made a broadhead switch this year. And... Um, I switched over to Ramcats this year, and because I, I, I really could not find one thing about the design that I didn't like. Here's my arrow, and, and again, it turned into a red arrow. Broadhead does not have a single nick out of it. I mean, it is in perfect shape. 
This is just a super blood trail. Bubbles in the blood there. Okay, let's follow him over here. My goodness. Pretty unbelievable. Jeez. And there he lies. All right, so here we are back at the buck. Um, we had a long walk back in here to get to him. Um, got Benny P and Mike here to help drag it out. Um, get a closer look at the buck. It's got nine points, has this cool point here that comes off on the inside of the main beam. And which is really unique. I've, I've actually never seen that. So I actually thought it was a double main beam coming out, but it doesn't go quite that far. But, um, you know, he's probably, you know, I don't know, 16, 17 inches wide on the outside. Um, got nice brow tines, nice two and a half year old deer, big bodied deer. And uh, so here he is. Hold it right there. I'm going to get, there's that extra beam coming off. Okay. Nice buck, congrats. <laughs> That'll work.